Howdy, guys. All right, so what I want to do in this lecture is just show you a quick little trick that um, I did to make sure that the drone um, basically doesn't lose any altitude as you're basically rolling left and right or pitching forward or anything like that. And now, while this isn't necessarily realistic, a lot of these um, drones that you can buy, these tiny little drones that are meant you know, for beginners, they, they take care of all that. They basically make it so that it's almost you know, impossible to lose control of the, the drone. Whereas like in a real drone, like a racing drone or something like that, you do have to manage your altitude with, you know, throttle adjustments, right? But in this case, you know, it's a game type of controller. And so you really want the player to be focusing on the fun aspect of the game rather than trying to manage the altitude or the through the through throttle adjustments. Now, that being said, if you're making a simulation, yeah, go for it. You probably want people to manage their own throttle adjustments. So with that said, let's move on and take a look at what, what I uh, came up with. All right. So before we uh, begin, I want to try to demonstrate, you know, what I'm uh, going to be doing here. And somehow I renamed that to E. All right. So let's actually pull this up a little bit here. Now, you know, when you are, you know, flying flat, our current velocity or the, the amount of force that we are producing, if we go back to our engine, is, you know, this rigid body or the mass times gravity, right? And that's enough force, right, to counteract gravity. Well, when we actually rotate this, right, all the engine's up vectors are now tilted, right? Whereas before, when it's flat, all the up vectors or the, the force vector that we are generating is straight up. So it's able to counteract gravity. Whereas when we're down here, what happens? Let me see if I can get my little uh, drawing tool. Well, let's just open up a, let's do a snippet here really quick. So let's uh, take a look here. So let me actually just get just the scene view here and we'll, f we'll focus on this right here. All right. So um, basically what I'm talking about is, let me actually erase that guy. So well, let's go and get the pen. So by default, you know, we are creating an up vector that is like that, right? When we're flat, but since we're pivoted, you know, or rolled over in this current shot here, our, you know, new vector is over here, right? Well, the Y value, the Y component of this vector actually only reaches to right here, right? That means we're not producing enough upward force anymore. And that's why our rigid body is falling out of the sky. And so what we need to do is we actually need to find that difference. We need to find the difference right here. How much more force do we need to, you know, produce and add on to this vector when we're tilted over? Okay, so hopefully that clears things up for you guys. That's basically what we are looking to achieve. All right, so let's actually reset this guy onto the ground again. Very cool. Okay, so let's go into Visual Studio here. We'll go to the engine script. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to create a new vector three. All right, I'm going to call this my um we'll call it this no let's, let's call it up back something like that all right and it's currently going to be initialized to the transform dot up like so okay and then what i want to do is i want to say up back uh, dot x is equal to zero I, I really just want to get just the y vector and this seemed to work for me i'm sure if you guys have any other suggestions i'm totally open to it all right, so I'm just zeroing out the, actually, we want to do the, the Z there. So I'm zeroing out all the other components. So all we're left with is the Y value. Okay. And so what we need to do now is we need to um, subtract. So we need to say float uh, diff is equal to one minus the up vec uh, dot magnitude. All right. So that basically gives us the leftovers, right? The, the percentage that we need to um, basically multiply from physics.gravity.magnitude. All right, so let's do this. We'll call this the float uh, final diff. I'm just, that stands for difference, right? Uh, I could probably come up with a better uh, variable name for that, but for now, that's fine. So I'm just going to do physics.gravity.magnitude times our diff, right? And that basically will return for us the extra amount that we need to apply to uh, this force here. So we'll, we'll do this. We'll do plus uh, final diff like so. All right. That basically adds that on now. Now we shouldn't drop out of the sky. All right. So it's just kind of a little fix just to make it easier to fly this thing. Again, like I said, you can totally um, leave it the way it is. 
that's totally valid too. Uh, I just like this because then I'm, then I can focus on gameplay, you know, elements rather than trying to manage the the drone itself. All right, let's let's take a look here now. So I'm gonna go lift up, and as I move to the left and right, you can see that I'm actually going up a little bit too much there, and so we're not getting the exact value. So let's go back to the code here really quick, and I think I actually just need to put this inside here instead. Honestly, you don't really even need to do all that, but it just kind of keeps it clean. All right, let's go check that out now. Let's hit play. Let me go up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. So much better. It's a lot easier to fly. So now you can, you know, really maintain your altitude here, if I can actually see. Well, that's why we need a camera. Though, um, this is kind of fun, actually, <laughs> just flying this around like this. I mean, it feels like, you know, what you would actually have in real life. Nice. I dig it. Totally cool. Awesome. All right. So that's that. Let's move on to the next lecture.